Hey man, you ever look in the flatter? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh. So remember learning about perspective in school? Yeah. So here's our perspective grid. And I'll put a guy in here. So his eyesight, eye line is right there. The sky comes down, the ground ramps up, right? So if I pop this mountain in front of him, what can we say about this, right? We can say the top of this mountain is thousands of feet above where he's standing. Mm-hmm. That's a, we we'll, we'll could assume that. Okay. The sun is higher than the mountain. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And so imagine if you're on a street, it's 12 noon, the sun is directly above you across the street is a 10 story building and the sun is moving away. You're watching it. You're sitting, you're watching, let's say you're watching a parade, whatever. Okay. And the sun moves beyond the building. Now you can't see the sun, right? Right. Is it below the horizon? Well, we don't know that. Well, no, you do know that it's not because it's just behind the building. You just saw it go and your common sense right. will tell you, oh, no, it's just blocked by that building. Now, how could you see it again? Well, you can climb up higher than the building or you can go backwards a mile and the top of that building will be at your eye level, right? So if we took this right. mountain and we put, no, so here's the sun going away. So it's like the building, it's beyond it. It's not below it, it's beyond it. And we move the building, uh-huh. we move the building or the mountain away, right? Fill in the sides, fill in the foreground. What can we say about this image? The top of this mountain is thousands of feet above his eyes. Right. And the sun is way above the mountain. But to him, he sees the top of the mountain appears to be at his eye level. We push the sun a little farther and it looks like it's going down. It's just going beyond. Now let's add the sky into that. And so now we have clouds and we look up at the clouds. We, these clouds are all at the same level, but they all merge into this eye line horizon again. Okay. And even if there wasn't clouds, the atmosphere over distance becomes opaque and it merges into this horizon, this optical horizon, the horizontal eye zone. It's the limit of your vision. Okay. So then what can we say about this picture? So let me, first we'll move the sun away. And it's going beyond. What's it going beyond? Well, the top of this mountain is thousands of feet above his eye level. These clouds, atmospheric level, is thousands of feet above the mountain. And the sun is above that. It's just going beyond. It just goes beyond. That's it. And we well, that's see a great it. explanation. Yeah. So this is how uh, perspective works. Okay. So I set up this... Um, this is my flat earth kitchen. I got my counter and I have this line and where this is the path of the sun and I'm moving it along. Now this could be mountains. It could be cloud deck, whatever. We're just above it. Okay. And I'm showing you from a terrestrial point of view, a camera at the height of the sun, that this is a straight line. Now I have a, I, I'm a celestial point of view. I have a terrestrial camera on the counter watching it from the other side. And when I show it, Look at this line. This is a level line. If I showed you this first, you would say, no, it's not level. And I'd say, hey, is this going below this horizon, right? This appears to be at almost eye level, right? Is it going below it? And you'd be like, no way is that a level line. This is a level line. I'm going in. This is a level line, and this is just going beyond it, okay? Now let's compare that to a real sunset. Here's a level line. Here's a real sunset. What's going on right here? What's it going behind? Is that a mountain in the distance that I can't see? Or is it just the atmospheric deck of opacity? Okay. And if I zoomed out, if I zoomed out, the line that it's going behind right here and the line that we think is earth curve literally becomes one. I'm zoomed in, but it literally, you can't even see it. So that's how the sun sets. This is me with my drone and the sun is up high, up high in the sky. And if we were on a ball, it would just go down, 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 and it would just keep on going, right? And it would always go at the same rate, 15 degrees per hour, okay? Mm-hmm. But I, it's super clear day, super cold, no humidity. The sun went down, 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 and it stopped. And it just sat here above this apparent horizon, right? It sat here, this is sped up 2,500 speed, okay? What's going on? Oh, 
Oh, Pete over here. Okay. It just didn't have the power to push through anymore, so it took its light with it. Its light is local. The local light. And it just went away. Now, when I put this up, man, the trolls went crazy. You're Photoshop, this and that, blah, 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 right? So I did it again, and I did it again, and I live streamed it, okay? And I have the high draw the files. People are like, well, how come no one else has ever seen this? How come you're the only one? I go, well, at the time, I may have been the first because to do this, one, it has to be a super clear day. Very few of those with all the stuff that's going on in the sky. Two, mm-hmm. it has to be no humidity, so it has to be below freezing, basically. Three, you have to have a drone with a 4K camera and be willing to heat the batteries so they don't freeze and send it up and watch the sun when it looks like it's already almost gone. Okay? And then you have to bring it into your editor and zoom in on that tiny little area so you can see what's going on. Okay? And so I'm the only one crazy enough to do that. Now a lot of people have done it. It's been done a whole bunch of times. There's a whole section on the app that'll show you um, a whole bunch of these. And then you understand that the sun is a local a local light. Holy smokes. I'm blown away. Thank you. This is where you think you live. And the reason you think this is where you live is because it's been rammed in your head like a fucking jelly donut since you were four. And I can fuck this stupid fucking thing. This is our plane of existence. Not only is the universe a plane of existence, so is the earth. All right? Here's the ice wall that goes around us. You know what it does? It holds all the water in because water needs a container, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. And when you're wondering how seasons work, when the sun's in here doing this thing, these areas are warmer and this is colder. When the sun is out here doing its thing, these areas are warmer and these areas are colder. It's not that difficult. I mean, see right here on this flat earth map where it says June solstice? The sun moves around the tropics in a spiral circle. So the sun's doing this, right? And in the December solstice, what happens? The sun commences his northward journey again, returning to his starting point. So while he's out here doing this, then he comes back here. I mean, it says it right here, guys, come on. No rocket science here required. When the sun's closer to you, it's warmer. When the sun's further away from you, it's colder. We have been led to believe that the sun goes down below a horizon as we roll away from it on our spinning ball earth. But when we allow ourselves to question, challenge, or even try to confirm our beliefs with real life observations, we allow ourselves to see what we really see, even if we cannot understand it. And perhaps we are not supposed to understand it. And that is the point of watching a sun travel away from us getting smaller and smaller and becoming a speck on the horizon beyond the band of convergence on an infinite plane.
It is our eyes which always bring the horizon up to eye level. So, however far we can see across the surface is where the surface cuts off our view of the sky and therefore cuts off the sun as it travels away and continues to appear to sink down to the horizon without ever actually doing so. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful.